Yo guys, what's up? In this video, I'm going to be unboxing the Mighty Morphin Black Ranger, Zack. I'm going to move you guys closer so that you guys can really see everything. Okay, so let's take a really quick look at the box, and uh, it looks pretty sick. I do really like the white and black theme that they have on this box. It looks super clean, but um, yeah, so let's just open everything up and get this thing out. Okay, so everything's out of the box, and uh, let's take a look at this guy. He's looking pretty good. Uh, I do notice a few paint mess-ups on, like, the chest area, unfortunately. But I'm not actually really seeing anything other than just the chest right here. There's a few small specks. I don't think you guys can see that, but you might be able to. One thing that I did notice on the back of the box, he does not actually have these silver lines in the grooves on his helmet. These little silver lines that go down the Mascadon's trunk, those are actually not on him on the box. I'm not sure which one necessarily looks better in my opinion, but I do like the look of his helmet right here. But um, yeah, so he has the same amount of rotation and articulation as any other Lightning Collection Ranger. Double jointed elbows, double jointed knees, his feet still have the same amount of rotation. Right here on his bicep and tricep, you can turn his arm back down to his thigh, you have a rotation right here that can turn his leg outward or inward. So yeah, I guess I'll move on to the accessories. Now we're gonna start with the hands. This ranger comes with, with two spare hands. One is a holding hand so that he can hold his weapons. And then the other extra hand is just a fist. Let's move on to his head next. I'm not sure exactly what to say about this. The hair on this one, it doesn't really look like it's a part of his head at all. It just looks like it's kind of set on top of there. And the face looks okayly much like him. You can see his likeness in it, but it doesn't really look too much like him. Next we have his blaster and then his dagger. So we're gonna start with the blaster. Now this is just like the other Mighty Morphin blasters. It has just red and white on it. I think most of the details on it are pretty much exactly the same, but there's not really any paint details. So pretty simple, but it does get the job done. Now onto the saber. This looks pretty good too. It has, uh, you know, the silver, the white, and then the red. So three colors instead of two. Now one thing about this one is that, I don't know if you guys can really see that, but the tip of this sword is actually red. So it like got rubbed off or something. I'm not exactly positive how that happened but it is missing the small amount of red on the tip. But I do think that it looks pretty similar, has most of the details same as the blaster, just not painted on there. Now onto the bigger accessories, we have the axe, which looks pretty good. I think this is actually pretty much exactly accurate. There's a few, I think, missing details, but it is mainly, I think, correct. Now on the box, I saw that you could move this thing up, although I'm not sure how you do that. This piece, you can see where the yellow kind of like splits, and I think you can move this piece forward towards the silver part. But I'm not exactly positive how to do that. It doesn't look like it's moving. I'm not sure if that's because it's bent or if it's just like I'm doing it wrong. I'll try to figure it out, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it for this video. But yeah, the axe looks really good. I really do actually like the look of this axe. So very nice weapon. Now let's move on to the final piece of this, which is the blasting piece for the axe. And this, I think, can only really go on to the axe. Because usually on like these blasting pieces, they'll have like this tiny circle that usually will fit onto the tip of the weapon. Or there will be like a little small piece that can fit into the tip of the blaster. But this one does not have that. It actually has a small circle inside of here and then like around it is just empty so, so they can pretty much perfectly fit into this hole on, on the axe so let me put this on here really quickly and yeah it fits on there perfectly no it's not hard to put on there or anything it just slides on and pretty cool looking but yeah that's it for this ranger i am super happy with this how this ranger turned out now one thing i do want to mention is that i did buy this ranger used he came in a big lot with a bunch of other lightning collection rangers so he did come used. Now he wasn't really like played with or anything like that that I know of. I think he was just displayed. He definitely has like the steel quality as if he was just displayed, not as if he was played with because everything on him is still very nice. So any problems like the tip of the dagger saber thing could just have been because it is used. Same for the small amounts of paint that is messed up. It could have been because it was used. I'm not sure, but it could have been. But I think that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, consider subscribing. And if you guys want to see the lot that I just talked about that comes with him and then some other Lightning Collection Rangers, including the entire team of Mighty Morphin, you guys can go check the link right here. There's like this little eye thing that'll pop out. You guys can click that. And then it'll take you to a playlist that has the rest of the reviews that I've done so far from that lot. And then also the entire lot so that you guys can see what maybe I'll be opening in the future. But I do think that's it for this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.